Hello uh, and how are you? My name is Mohindo Barak and I will come you to our 17th video of learning how to create complete e-commerce web application. In the previous video, we were able to display the products of cart to customer and we were able also to check if customer is logged in or not and also be able for the customer uh, to, to proceed to the what? To the checkout. So in today's video, we are going now to work on the logic of checking out putting the shipping address as well as submitting the what the order so that's what you're going to do in our today's video so i hope you're good to do this with me if you are then let's get started let's do it okay so uh if you still remember in the previous video we we're able to reach this point we we're able to come to cut expand cut to display the product in the cut and we we're able also to proceed to checkout but in the checkout we did not display anything so in this video, let's begin from here by displaying items that are supposed to be in checkout. And then after, we display the shipping information. So let's go ahead and do that. So we come here uh, to our checkout, have details of checkout. So this is where we're going to put the shipping address information. And then after, we'll go ahead and uh, submit the shipping. But I see this shipping might be unnecessary. We can just summarize it okay what you're going to see which one will work for us the shipping information will come here and then here we'll uh, skip the card part i think we'll skip the card part okay and then go straight to what to the review information okay so let's go ahead and work from here we have checkout okay the checkout page so the checkout page is now the place we are going to summarize the whole product summary and also collecting the shipping information where we should deliver uh the what the information of the customer i mean the products of the customer so let's go ahead and do that um let's go ahead and do that So the file is called checkout.details.php. I made it HTML, so we'll come to our template and search for the file. Checkout details. Okay. So we already have the head and footer for our sake. Then we are going to look for just uh, beginning from uh, the name of the customer, the customer tag, and then the remaining information. Three three eight four. That's the first text. So we come here search for 384 this is where it is okay here so we'll, we'll know that tab starts from around there where well, there is customer info so here on top we'll have steps i think these steps also need to put them in one place eh, so that we don't repeat ourselves okay so here we'll have steps and then here will have now the whole container so i'll go ahead and collapse this container copy it okay copy it and then we're going to uh to paste it there in the body you see where i've copied it from you see well there's a container right so let me go ahead and do that so I'll come here how our body is between the tags of head and bow and footer and then come and refresh we're having uh, our information there. But I think something is not right. Wait. Let us go ahead and see what did not copyright. I think this guy will also need it. The page title. This here. Will also need it. Okay. Copy that. Uh -huh. Then come and undo everything. Then paste. Okay. So there we go. There we go. There we go. So we have the head title and the information. So if refresh. Now we have all that. So once when someone click here, it should be taken to cut.php. Okay, so let's go ahead and put here cut.php in the title. Uh, so I'll come here where there is .html. Instead of having that, I'm going to have cut.php. Uh, it is where? It is um, here. The progress. So here the tag. It's going to be cut.php. 
cat.php so if i refresh now when someone clicks here no i've put in the wrong place <laughs> okay it's supposed to be here here okay cat.php if i refresh now and someone clicks here should be taken to the cat though on cat we did not put it i think we did not need it there so when someone proceeds here we show them cat okay now here you're going to put details this is the active one so we don't need to put uh, a link then here i'll put that of shipping and then uh, that of payment and then that of review i think for us we should have a uh, cut then uh, review okay we're going to have cut shipping let's call this guy shipping details let us call it instead of details let us call it okay uh -huh. so um put the card php uh we said that we're going to maintain cut shipping so instead of putting details here we're going to put uh shipping shipping or oh, call checkout checkout and this guy we're going to call it checkout.php checkout.php already have it checkout.php okay i will skip the shipping then we go to review the order so this shipping we will skip it if you want to implement it you can go ahead and implement it maybe we can do it as a tag here someone will select where they want to ship from and then you can implement the product and catch the shipping price but for now let's skip the shipping maybe we'll come back for it when you're doing the finalizing of the project so i'll skip here the shipping okay payment cards just skip it we may come back for it okay so we have the checkout so checkout is going to be checkout.php though we have not created that file but we're going to create it checkout.php and then we're going to have now the review okay uh the review uh, sorry it's going to be review.php that's where we are going to have the what the review of the order that php so let's refresh now everything is okay so instead of having five here let's put this guy as three so everything is all right okay uh -huh. so you click there you're in the cut you proceed checkout then you have the information for checkout and then you'll have here the review dot php so let's go ahead and do the logic of checkout first of all have the display since the customer is already logged in we have to display his name his picture and then his email or their email uh -huh. so let's go ahead and display the name so i'll come here control f and look for susan and then i'm going to display here the name of the logged in user i have here the logged in user which is under session user okay so i'll just simply come here or i can first copy this word session user in a simple variable so that i should not repeat myself by writing complicated things i can just simply write u equals to whatever in the session okay so let us first see what is inside the session so echo a pre tag and then do some print underscore r and then die so if refresh here you see that's what we have okay that's what we have so let's go ahead and uh, do what let's go ahead and display this information or relevant information with the customer so i can create here some temporary info file where i can copy everything uh, so i'll copy that customer information into you so you see i have all the customer information in this you so let me go ahead and cut this guy and just temporarily put it here so after doing that i self refresh so let's go ahead and put the customer name so since everything is inside you here 
I'll come and put the customer name where there is Susan here. Okay, so where there is Susan photo here, I'll come and put the customer name. So do like this. Sorry, do uh, echo sign like that, and then put there. So how can we get the name of Susan? Is first name and last name. So I just simply come and put here uh, first name. And then dot space dot u and then input last name okay so use stands for user <laughs> and to make it simple for us not to write the whole word session and the rest so refresh you see the number of customers displayed i'll display his email or their email copy that come and display the email so the email will be here I'll go ahead and display it. Okay, so the email is inside email. Okay, customer email. So I'll come and remove all this rubbish and put email like this. So if I refresh, customer email is there. Let us go ahead and display the um, their what? Their um, their email. Let's go ahead and display their photo um their photo let's go ahead and display their photo so do you have a provision of customer photo already do you have, have it, do you have it customer photo i think it's not in there but we'll work on it we'll surely work on customer photo okay so for now let us just display a simple uh or empty user photo so I'll come to google and search user photo okay you can get here an empty one like this one so you go ahead and download it okay we wait for it to load i hope it's good quality yes and then save it but i don't think that's the best just get this one eh? i hope it's a png so i'll save that guy i'll call it uh user dot png hope it is yes user dot png so i'll come and copy that showing folder there it is i'll copy it and then come to where our assets are where are the assets okay so our pics i think they're the uh upload have pics and uploads we don't have a folder of assets okay let us put it here inside pics okay so i'll paste it there we can just simply say show in folder and then i paste there inside pics i mean i inside img it's better to be there inside img okay so this is the user.png file okay this guy so let me go ahead and copy that name and come and um, replace this uh, susan's photo but we'll work on that logic of displaying user's photo uh, when you're doing the finishing part so it's under img and then user.png so now if we refresh we should be able to see a normal user image this guy okay so we proceed and uh, to we can show here the user's id so they should be knowing their id um let's go ahead and do that you can also show here the username or the name of the user so let's go ahead and show the user id so i'll just simply come where there is that badge uh where is it this guy here and then put question mark equals to uh you in the dimension of id so maybe that can help the user to know their id okay so after doing that uh we can click on edit user do you have that form of editing user already i will come back for it i think we'll come back for it let us see where there is a user where they can edit their account is it there already my orders my account my it's not there right but we'll have that section where the user will be able to edit their account we'll come back for it okay so that's enough 
let's go ahead and now do the shipping address the shipping address so we'll come where there is shipping address so if we already we we'll put there by default you put there the first name of the user okay the first name of the user uh but if you still remember we already dedicated our our functions that can handle the input with simplicity i think they are in functions okay so we had something called input text input eh? if you still remember this information right if you still remember this information what about pass just the name of the input and if it has the current values or if you have the some temporary values we pass it there so that's what you're going to use it will help us not to uh to repeat ourselves okay so let's go ahead and use that guy uh you can as well search and see what i implemented before if you had forgotten go to shift f and you see how we implemented it okay did we implement it anywhere anyway i don't shift f i don't see where we implemented it but no problem let's go ahead and implement it here so we come where there is um shipping the first input is the name of the customer so let's go ahead and first call this function and see what we'll get question mark php php and then uh put there the function itself okay text input uh -huh. so it will take data so among the data that will take it will take where is it the function is here uh it will take uh it will take the name of the what of the attribute so uh this is the shipping information first name last name email and phone number the rest maybe we'll ignore so we'll go have mm, first name or what we will call it just name okay i mean oh, let's collect it as first name okay first underscore name i mean we call this guy name and then you pass first name so if refresh ah uh, yeah it's working you see it's working i don't know him first to comment this one here so refresh it's not working yet i think you have to put echo or put echo sign here refresh aha uh -huh. first name let us go ahead and pass the label <laughs> let's go ahead and pass the label the next thing that we pass here is uh this is the text input right so the next thing that we will pass we will pass the um, the label and the existing value in case it is there okay so we pass the label the label the bell is going to be uh first name okay so if we have some attributes we can as well pass the attributes in another dimension is set attributes and will also be i think a what an array for example if want required and the rest uh, so if you come and refresh uh, we have first name there i think we can as well pass another thing called attributes i think that one can be uh, another array where I, let us see how they work with attributes how it works with attributes how was it uh we check if attributes were there and later did you implement the attributes attributes i think attributes are just uh being displayed as how they're supposed to be yeah attributes are just a uh, plain html list so let's go ahead and display actually i mean and pass attributes attribute can be simply required like this okay so if i refresh uh, attribute should be there so that's it now now what next now we have to pass the last name also last name so I'll just simply copy this guy you see it will save us from not repeating ourselves so much copy that guy come and remove these guys and come and change this guy to uh, last name and then change the value to last name okay refresh 
everything is alright. Uh -huh. Now what next? We'll go ahead and uh, pass the what? The email and also the phone number. Okay, the email. But remember this person already has some information about them. So instead of passing them free things, just go ahead and pass them even the values. So remember I have an attribute code value. So I can pass the value and pass here you and then you put first name remember this one is coming from session eh? first name like this so if i come and refresh i think uh, the value should be displayed there beautiful you see the values there so let's go ahead and do also the same for this guy of last name comma and pass value as uh last name remember this last name is the value from the session so if i refresh so if you've just watched these videos uh we did this function uh i would recommend you to put the, i mean to watch the video how we did it okay that function uh from the first videos i'll put the tag in this i'll put um a a card where you can click and then it goes through that video and watch how you design this function okay the card will appear on the youtube here on the video so after doing that the next thing we collect the email let's go ahead and collect the email so i'll copy this guy only and then we come here and collect the email so i'll go ahead and delete here so the email address for uh, delivery i think it's going to be just the same email okay we don't need to collect another email for delivery and the phone number okay let's go ahead and collect nothing to do <laughs> uh let's collect email phone number and the address maybe first name last name email do you need a second email for delivery let's just collect the what maybe the address and call it that will be enough information okay let's collect the address but the rest you can implement if you want to implement the real world thing okay so let's go ahead and collect the address of so address let us see when you collect the customer information did you collect the address no we do not collect the address so let's just put here address and then the name will be also address and make it required and put remove this the value because need you don't need we don't have the address value in the customer's information ah i think that's enough let's go ahead and remove other remaining unnecessary things uh, for delivery because remember i already have this customer information you can collect the country if you want but for us we'll maintain minimum uh, so that if you want to implement the real world one you just use the same idea to implement okay so address billing address so i'm going to just simply uh delete this guy and the only difference is I want to make this guy 12 so that it should write a complete address line so if i refresh the address line is full so that is where we'll be collecting the address information of the customer so I click there the cut information checkout and then click on checkout we have why the customer can collect the address so let's go ahead and collect the address of the customer or the shipping information of the customer so this is going to it's going to be a form and maybe this form should be submitted to should be submitted to review okay should be submit review.php so let's go ahead and create another file for review.php so when this guy is submitting we're receiving that form from the other side okay so let's go ahead and do it we create a new file for review.php okay so let us first work with the logic php and then let's go ahead and put echo and put a pre tag and do dump everything that has come through post safe refresh now let's go ahead and work with this with this form and change it to a 
uh, to a post form okay so let's go ahead and do that check out and make it a what a form uh, do you have it as a form it's not a form by default uh, so let's change this guy to a form the shipping address to a form so come with your shipping address um uh we go ahead and surround it and make it a form uh let's see billing and then same proceed we just need to make sure that the proceed button is within the form uh this is aside okay proceed to shipping eh? so it's going to be our button so make it eta i mean uh, button and sorry we have to make it from here here make it a button and give it type of submit and also come and close it here make sure that when you close it it is also a button from this side okay so uh we refresh if you have not broken anything yet is okay but it is nothing but a button so why do you want it to submit first of all we have to change the surrounding tag to be a form so it is a section you see it's a section so let us go ahead and collapse that section okay section collapse it uh you can surround it with the form let us collapse everything in this section in this section collapse 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 uh collapse this guy okay so go ahead and cut everything and surround inside the what inside the form of post okay so i'll come here between the form it is where i'm going to put everything about shipping okay now i'll come to this form and give it parameters so it is going to submit it to review.php review.php and then the method will be post and then after yeah i think that's okay that's all so if refresh and then i go ahead and put this information i proceed you see the information is be able to be re to be received from uh, review.php so let's go ahead and um, save the i mean before we and and create the review section okay let's go ahead and create the review section so proceed uh here maybe this uh checkout information i mean this information that's being submitted maybe we should put it in the section in the session temporarily before the user what before you, the user submits their order okay so let's go ahead and put it in our in the section temporarily okay so i'll come here to section i mean to review the php and add that information in a session so I check if it if it's set okay if is set is set post uh post maybe i have to specify post will always be set maybe post last name okay if you set post last name i'll go ahead and create a session i mean and add in two session um maybe a section called shipping and in that shipping it's all put maybe uh first underscore name uh equals to uh the first name that has come from the post will save this information only when there is a submitting first name and then also go ahead and collect the last name this the last name go ahead and collect uh the first name and the address you can use this uh, basic information to do anything complex eh? that you may want to implement in real world okay me i'm just showing you the ideas like that so we will have saved that information into shipping section 
so let's go ahead and now create the review section i'll come and refresh we have our review page here but it has nothing okay so let's go ahead and put uh what is inside the review here okay so what's inside the review have review your order we're going to just display the product information and then we put complete the order process okay and that's what we're going to do the submission and say your order has been submitted successfully so let's go ahead and do that uh we'll come to this file which is review okay i will go to a template and look for checkout review.html so let's go ahead to a template ctrl p checkout review.html which is here okay so we look for what we look for for review your order review your order this guy here and that's why we're going to copy free things from but before we do that uh we should uh, you should notice that everything in car in checkout it looks like the one in the what in the shipping information so what we can do we can copy first what is in our checkout okay we go and copy everything in our checkout beginning from uh, from from here from here beginning from beginning from top here okay so press ctrl shift and arrow down copy everything then come to checkout okay and paste it here i mean to review and paste it so we have to also include the this function file on top because it's the one that will start the session so there we are okay there we are it's everything about the cut but only a few things will change so come and refresh everything is okay so we are here under review uh -huh. so the last section of under review we want first of all to reflect that we are under review okay we are under review or what we call checkout uh order review so let us go ahead and change one by one so instead of having here checkout I'll leave it out as checkout then here i have under review we have to activate this last part okay so to activate it of course i will have to cheat from these guys and you see how they did it uh we just see put step progress and then put step count uh -huh, and then you just make it you just add this class active and current eh? active and current so come to this guy and look for uh this checkout i mean this last one which is checkout what you can call review review and also come here and call it review the order and then uh we come and call it what is it uh progress look for progress active and current so remove this active and current just make it active and then come to this last one or the step progress and make it active and current so add that class active and current so if you refresh which file are we checking this review okay refresh um did you have review here yes review review uh-huh you need to make it reviewed at php this the one i think do you need other classes here i think so active and current yes we already draw the class there okay so it will not be clickable there so after doing that now what next now we need to display uh the cut here the cut summary here but not this customer information let's go ahead and remove that customer tab here what you call the author delete it collapse it and collapse this guy also and collapse this form i'm removing that those forms the unnecessary forms and then collapse also this guy and remove everything here but collapse them maturely you don't just collapse everything and break everything okay so ah everything is well and organized there 
so this is where we're going to put now the, our review section refresh so the review section is going to be here 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 in this uh, section so you're going to do what you're going to put this section but if you realize you i mean if you if you observe clearly you'll see that this is almost the same as uh, the cut uh, information the format that was in the cut so let's go ahead and copy that info cut information cut section and paste it here but i think that one will do it in the next video because uh this video has really been lengthy so the cut information i'm going to put it here and then be able to also submit the order to the shop owner i know it is <laughs> complicated but i think it is worth it i think i think it, you're learning i think you you're practicing as well so let us make the next video now we're going to display this cut and then be able to do what to upload this order to the what to the shop owner so please don't miss and see you there